All right, this is a short video on dilutions and concentration. And um, <clears throat> this is something else we'll do in our solutions unit. And uh, <clears throat> we've been talking a lot about the way to uh, measure the concentration of a solution, primarily molarity, and more recently we've talked about molality. But um, for these problems um, and this whole um, concept, we're gonna be studying and focusing mostly on the molarity of concentrations, okay? Uh, so, let's talk about what these things are. Dilution. Adding water to an existing solution, um, which will increase the volume and decrease the molarity. <clears throat> so, when you dilute a, a solution, you just add water to it, and that makes it a little less concentrated, but a little bigger in volume. Okay, and the opposite is true when you concentrate a solution. When, re when you um, remove water from an existing solution, you decrease the volume and you increase the molarity. Okay, and the way that water <clears throat> generally leaves a, a solution is by way of evaporation. We can do that by just letting a solution sit out in the sun or um, we could boil a solution and let some of the water um, vaporize away from that. But remember, evaporation removes the water but it leaves any of the solute that is dissolved into the solution behind. Okay, so <clears throat> like everything we do, there's a math equation that goes along with this, and here's what it looks like. We have our initial molarity multiplied by initial volume uh, equal to the final molarity and the final volume. Um, and the volumes don't have to be in any specific unit as long as the units are, are matching, okay? So <clears throat> that's the equation, that's what um, dilutions and concentration are. And let's do a couple of practice problems to get you, get you good at this. Okay, so this is, a, this is a pretty normal type of problem that you would expect to see. We have 275 milliliters of water added to 400 milliliters of an existing 2.8 molar solution. What is the new concentration? And, and that word concentration, that's molarity, right? Okay, so one thing to always remember is that this, the, the amount of water that's either added to or taken away from a solution is never gonna be one of the numbers that goes into this equation. You use that number, but, but it's not gonna be that number that's in the equation. <clears throat> Instead, what you have to do is understand that we've, we're starting with a 400 milliliter solution to which we're adding 275 milliliters, which will give us a total solution volume of 675 milliliters, and that's our um, final volume. So don't use 275 as one of your volumes in this equation. Okay, so let's set this up. We have our initial concentration of 2.8 molar times our initial volume of 400 milliliters, set equal to our um, new molarity, which we're calculating, and then multiplied by the total volume, which is the initial volume, and the additional water, which is 675 milliliters. So now it's really easy math. We just uh, divide both sides by 675. and that makes them disappear on this side, and we can go ahead and calculate that. So 2.8 times 400 divided by 675 gives us a new molarity, a higher uh, a less concentrated solution of 1.6 molar. That's our final molarity, okay? <clears throat> Another type of problem is a concentration type of problem where we're actually, instead of diluting, we're going to actually make the, the solution more concentrated by removing water. So this is a question like that. 2.67 liters of 2.1 molar solution sits in the sun for a while, and its volume shrinks to 1.97 liters. What is the molarity of that new concentrated solution? So remember that... that um, the difference between the starting volume and the ending volume, that's all the water that has um, evaporated away, which is not being asked about in this question, but just so you know that that's, that's all water that's leaving and we're leaving the solute behind. <clears throat> so we'll set this up as 2.67, oops, uh, yeah, liters, that's fine. 
we'll do these in opposite order. Molarities here and volumes here. Set equal to M2 times our um, new solution volume of 1.97 liters. Okay, this question's different than the other because we've actually been given <clears throat> the um, final solution volume. And now, same thing, easy algebra here. Okay, and that makes these disappear. And this is 2.67 times 2.1 divided by 1.97 gives us a new concentrated solution of uh, 2.85 molar, okay? So you can see that, that the uh, solution went from two points, uh, sorry, from 2.1 to 2.8 molar. So we have, we have made a higher concentrated solution by removing the water, okay? So I hope this helps. That's how molarity and dilution works.